Hello parents and welcome to our first grade virtual parent orientation. We are so excited to get this year started and hope you find this presentation helpful. Thank you again for your time and enjoy. This year, our school, previously known as Laverne Primary School, has merged with Roy Waldron School as one student body. However, we are split up between two separate buildings. Our building is called the Roy Waldron Annex and is labeled on the map above. If you need to call the front office for any reason, we have included our building's phone number on this slide. Our goal at Roy Waldron School is to provide an educational experience where every student has the opportunity to learn at high levels every day. We aim to accomplish this mission so that we can empower today's students to grasp tomorrow's opportunities. Everything we do in first grade will center around this mission and vision. First graders at Roy Waldron School have three major expectations. Students will need to be ready, respectful, and responsible. To be ready is to come prepared to learn and to always try your best at everything you do. First graders are expected to be respectful to all adults, peers, and school property, such as supplies or technology. First graders are also expected to be responsible for their choices at school, home, and towards other people. When we combine these expectations from our kids with parent-teacher communication, we will be set up to achieve success all year long. All first grade teachers will be using Class Dojo to communicate with parents. Most parents are already connected from kindergarten last year, but if your child is new to our school or you haven't set up an account yet, please let your child's teacher know so they can connect you as soon as possible. There will be very important information on Class Dojo all year long, so please make sure to check it frequently to stay updated. If you are unfamiliar with how Class Dojo works, it is an amazing source of information for parents to access and track their child's classroom behavior and where parents and teachers can communicate. Students can receive points for good choices made throughout the day. When poor choices are made, points can also be taken away. All students have many more opportunities to earn points than they do to lose them. Each day is a fresh new start for points, so even if your child has a rough day in class, the next day is filled with opportunities to make better choices. Every nine weeks, students will be able to attend a rewards party if they earn a certain percentage of positive points. Some teachers in first grade also use Class Dojo as a reward system within their rooms. Make sure to ask your child's teacher about their particular system. Attendance at school can make a difference on whether your child has a successful year. We are doing all sorts of fun, interactive lessons every day school is in session, so please make sure to have your child at school every day. Breakfast will be served from 7.15 a.m. until 7.35 a.m. If your child arrives to school later than 7.35, they may miss breakfast. Instruction will begin at 7.40. School will be dismissed at the end of the day at 2.30. If your child is going to be absent, please send in a written note or excuse from the doctor. Attendance conferences will be held for students with five or more absences. Student lunch this year costs $2.75. Breakfast is provided to all students free of charge. Due to the current conditions of the COVID-19 pandemic, there will be no visitors allowed in the building at this time. We also cannot allow outside food or drink in the cafeteria. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your understanding. We have included both links to pay lunch charges and apply for the free and reduced lunch program. This is something new this year due to the new guidelines for good health. If your child normally brings a lunchbox to school, we ask that they bring their lunch in a paper bag instead so that everything can be thrown away in the cafeteria. Make sure to label the bag with your student's name. If your child is going home a different way than normal, you must send in a note in advance or call the front office to notify them. No transportation changes can be accepted through Class Dojo. We have included the phone number for the front office on this slide as well. 
Report cards will be sent home every nine weeks, with a progress report being sent home in between. Please review, sign, and return report cards as soon as you can. Parent-teacher conferences are held twice a year, once in the fall and once in the spring. More detail for those dates will be coming soon. If you need to meet with your child's teacher before an official conference day, feel free to reach out to your child's teacher to schedule a time with them. Due to the current situation of the COVID-19 pandemic, students will not be able to share any supplies. We have included a link to the RCS course supply list for first grade. Some teachers may have a specific list for their own classroom. Make sure to double check for that so that you don't buy any unneeded supplies. Some other important information to note includes birthdays, toys, field trips, water bottles, and the countywide mask mandate change. While we love to celebrate birthdays here at school, we are unable to accept treats or goodie bags from home at this time. However, you are allowed to bring in treats as long as they are store-bought. Toys and non-school related belongings are not allowed at school as well. Please check your child's backpack often to ensure nothing is being brought to school that they do not need. Field trips are limited this year and we are working hard to provide safe field trips for everyone. Please stay tuned for information on future field trips. Please send an extra change of clothes for your student. This can be kept in a plastic bag in their backpack. Everyone has an accident sometimes, and it will be helpful and more comfortable if they have an extra set of clothes to change into. Rutherford County Schools has changed their mask policy for students and staff. For students and staff, masks are optional. Even though masks are not required this year, students and staff are still welcome to wear masks if they would like. Please just make sure all mask designs are appropriate for school. The last thing to note is that students will not be able to use our classroom water fountains again this year. Please send a reusable water bottle with your child that can be refilled at our sanitized water bottle stations. Clever is a program that we use very often at school. It will house several apps that the students will be using frequently, such as iReady. To access Clever, please go to the school's website, hover over the Students tab, and click on Clever. It will take you to the login screen. To log in, you can choose to enter your information manually with Login with Active Directory, or you can choose the much faster option of using your student's Clever QR badge. When you click on this option, hold your Clever badge up to the camera and it will automatically log you in. Make sure you allow camera access if needed. Once logged in, you will see several apps to choose from. You can click on your child's teacher's page to see the apps that, the, that can be used or that are assigned. Or you can scroll down to see all apps available to you. Make sure to check with your child's teacher on how they will be using Clever this year. We are so happy that you are joining us for first grade this year. Every first grade teacher has made an introduction video along with an About Me page to introduce themselves. The videos will begin playing automatically after this slide. Feel free to fast forward to your child's teacher to save some time. Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Faust. This is my fifth year total teaching. It's my fourth year at the Annex. I love teaching and I can't wait to see all the great things that we're going to learn this year. We're gonna have so much fun. A little bit about me. Um, I live in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I have two cats. I love to read and go to church and spend time outside in the fresh air. I love the sunny weather. So if it's a sunny day, maybe we'll do a little bit of learning outside. I think that would be fun. Um, I can't wait to meet everybody and I hope you guys have had a good summer. I'll see you at school. Hi everyone, my name is Claire Moore and I'm so excited to be your child's first grade teacher this year. A little bit about me, I was born and raised in Tullahoma, Tennessee. I graduated from MTSU in May of 2020 with my bachelor's degree in elementary education. This will be my second year of teaching first grade. I just got married back in March, so my email and a couple of other things are still listed under my maiden name, which is Reagan. 
Um, I'm currently in the process of trying to get everything changed over to my new last name, which is more, but it's just a process. Um, so I am so excited for a fantastic year. Hey everyone, my name is Sarah Deal and I'm so excited to be teaching first grade at Roy Woodrum Annex this year. A little bit about me is I grew up in Alabama until I was 12 years old and then I moved to a little city outside of Chattanooga called Ottawa. I lived there up until I graduated and then I came to MTSU for school. Um, I enjoy being in the outdoors and doing really anything outside. When I'm not outside, I enjoy being with either my family or friends, kind of just hanging out or watching a movie. Can't wait to meet y'all. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Wilkinson. I'm so excited to be your first grade teacher this year. I know we're gonna have a great year and I can't wait to see you all. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Shike. Um, I will be your first grade teacher this year. I am so excited to see what this year holds for us. Um, I cannot wait to meet you guys, but I will see you guys soon. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Watkins and this will be my first year teaching. I just graduated from Ohio University and moved to Tennessee and I'm looking forward to a great school year. I know my students are going to be absolutely amazing and we're going to have so much fun together. I can't wait. Hey everyone, this is Elizabeth Cobb and I am so excited to be teaching here at Roy Waldron Annex. This is my first year teaching in Tennessee, but this will be my sixth year teaching first grade. And that's all I've taught is first grade. And I am so excited to meet all of you and we're going to have a fantastic th year this year. Bye! Hi everyone, my name is Miss Vinka Traman or Miss V. I am very much looking forward to being a first grade teacher here at Roy Waldron Annex. It's gonna be a fantastic year. I cannot wait to meet my wonderful students. Hello, I'm Miss Hicks, and I'm so excited about starting this new school year. And maybe you'll be in my classroom and we're gonna learn a lot about reading and science and social studies and math. I'm just so excited to see who will be my new students this year. Um, I hope that you are excited as well about returning to school. There's so much that we um, didn't get to do last year that I'm hoping that we do get to do this year. And so I just wanted to say hello and welcome back to school. And I'm going to look forward to having each person that I have in my classroom. Hi, my name is Wendy Holt. I'm a first grade teacher here at Roy Waldron Annex. It'll be my third year teaching here. I'm really excited for a fun year. A um, couple things about me is I'm a mom. I have a son, Wesley, and a daughter, Ruby. Also, I'm in grad school at MTSU. Okay, bye. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Harder. I'm very excited to meet each of you as well as your students and I am so excited for this school year. I know we're gonna have a lot of fun together. I can't wait to see you all very soon. Thank you so much for attending our first ever virtual parent orientation. We know this year will look different and there will be challenges to overcome, but we will adapt and still have a fabulous first grade year. Feel free to reach out to your child's teacher from the Roy Wadron School website or through Class Dojo if you have any questions. Thank you again for your participation in your child's education, and we can't wait to get this year started.